Brothers, welcome back to Crusader Kings and welcome back to the Kingdom of Orsium. We have cast aside our helmet for a crown fit for a king. And in today's episode, we will continue raiding as we are very poor. <laughs> and we'll kind of figure out what we want to do. We're very ambitious though. So I'm going to spend this man's last years on Earth as he is already 47. Conquering as much of this territory as I can. I know we don't have the culture. That will take a very long time to retake. But before we can do any of that, we'll need a lot of gold. We'll need gold to keep making tribes, keep upgrading. This tribe has 21 months left. So what are our raid targets? I don't think I've raided you recently. How many troops do you have? 2,300. You have not been raided. You have your gold back? No, you don't. So we'll go into this kingdom and this kingdom and maybe even this kingdom, depending on how much gold we have left. We also have these three targets up here. Which actually I'm going to raid first. So without further ado. Ooh. Just kidding. With further ado. We can also increase our men in arms. So let's get a second unit of Orc Marauders. Yes. What's that? We can actually increase them to level 2 already. That's going to be so good. So let's raise our raiders. And begin our conquest into the priority of ancient <laughs> ancestor moth. Okay. That's a fun. Oh, wait, wait. Time out. We got to group everybody up. Where's the second army? Get over here. Ooh, looks like these guys are fighting themselves. There we go. We've grouped up. And now we can begin our mighty sieges into foreign lands. And we've captured Mercia right away. We cannot ransom her, so we know what to do. And we have our first decision. We have the treatment for Rock Joint again. This is a risky treatment, but she is a renowned physician. I'm tired of gout. It is too late for caution. Do what is necessary. <gasps> A miracle! She has rid me of Rock Joint. Rock Joint, no more. The health penalty is no longer there. Wonderful. Wonder. <laughs> I gained the trait. One legged. So, we lost that, but we lost our penalty, but we gained minus four prowess, minus ten to dread. How sad. But we're still at 39 prowess, so overall, net benefit. My lesson Grog Iron Teeth has just finished a lesson held by Ugash on the management of treasury and gold therein. Grog Iron Teeth seems to have taken the lesson somewhat to heart. While he understands the role of the lower classes, he also insists if a peasant stops paying their taxes, they are of no more use and should be discarded. Ooh, I like that. So he can gain the trait Callus. We can give him Just, which will greatly increase our stress even more. And we are level 2, keep that in mind. Or he can get Greedy. You can be callous. Yes. Learn the ways of war, my son. And the ways of war is by taking out this army that's not really bothering us, but is slightly in our way. <laughs> so we're going to fight them for more prestige. Knock them completely out. Ooh, you're actually a little bit stronger than I thought, but that's okay. We'll get back to our territory. We have gained the trait Scars. We've lost Wounded, and we can upgrade our life perks. So let's get uh, Engineer... Let's get Hit and Run. That'll be much better. So we have regained our troops. We are low on supply, so I'm going to dismantle the army really quickly before we begin our second onslaught into the territories of this man down here. I'm not going to... The, yeah, that duchy. <laughs> I'm not going to try and say that. And our son can get married. Ooh, let's find a... Ooh, you're a woman with good prowess and good traits. That's what I'm more after than anything else. You are, like, on death's door at 57. Uh, No... No. Eh. No. Okay. Where's that first woman? Yes. Marry this woman. And let's see if we can marry any of our other sons along the way. As I think our diplomatic range is now increased enough. Nope. <laughs> you can't marry anybody. Hopefully we get some more women in here. Excellent. They accept. So let's go ahead. Raise our raiders once more. Combine them. And begin our journey into this kingdom. To devour it. And of all of its plunder. Ooh, fire and blood, bring me the plunder. And we have unlocked our first dynasty legacy. Ooh, there's some new things here. So, we have Magicka, which we can't get because we don't have any of that. Let's see, it strengthens the inner circle, binds the house. You can appoint a court position and can be fired without losing prestige. They don't need a salary either when they work there. That's not that bad. But let's get real. We're the house of the warriors once more. Yes. Let's continue on our raiding. We're going to his capital next to defeat 
him at his front gates. He has not sallied it out to challenge us yet, which is perfectly fine by me, as we have plenty more raiding targets before we run out. We have a notable guest arrived, your 20 prowess, recruit to court. 45 gold? No. Goodbye, sir. Oh, he sallied out to fight us. Bring it on. Ooh, look at this. 13 defense, nothing happening there. We are dedicated, known for our dedication to our faith. We also have the new title now that this tribe has been formed. So we can grant... Oh, well, hold on. Let's make this the county capital. And let's grant this to somebody who can use it. Noble of Orc Faith. That's fine. I was hoping that would be a woman again so that we could potentially marry her. But we have taken a prisoner. Ooh, you're kind of good. But not worth ransom. We must instill fear into these humans that if they don't pay us, that they will lose their loved ones. What in the world was my son Grog Iron Teeth doing in the wardrobe of the servant's quarter playing hide-and-seek, he claims. He looks like a fool, smiling, flustered cheeks, drooling, barely hearing what I'm saying. Oh no, I know what happened. He must have seen the two pages, mm-hmm, <clears throat> plucking a chicken together. This is undoubtedly lust in Grog Iron Teeth's eyes. So we can give him the trait lustful, or we can say he's chaste. No, you can be lustful. That's perfectly fine. Breed more orcs. We'll need them in the coming battles. And another prisoner. This one's worth nothing. So to the uh, stake you go. We've returned home with a 150 gold, so we now have enough. Ooh, hold on. I have ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times that I thought nothing could upset my rhythm. As I take yet another gallop door down the practice range, a commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned to the back of the horse as it starts shaking. Then, as if time is flowing slow, I can feel myself becoming dislodged. Calm down, girl. We have a 90 cent. This is a uh, prowess challenge. So let's go ahead and do that. We could get gain experienced rider. Ooh, that gives a lot of uh, light cavalry and heavily cavalry pursuit and screen. Let's do that. I could feel myself being thrown left and right, but no motion can make me loosen my grasp on the reins and saddle. My command eventually soothes the horse and the animal is soon under back to stomping eagerly on the hard packed ground. Perfect. So we do get that. We get 100 martial uh, experience. And we do have more gold. So we need to start upgrading our tribal holdings. So let's get war camp here. And do we have enough for a second war camp? I think we do. Wonderful. That's going to give us four more knights between the two of those. Our, another acquaintance has died in prison. In my prisons. That's crazy because I usually execute everybody. Oh, and a peasant rebellion has rised up. Raise the armies. We're going to go crush this. This peasant army never stood a chance, and we have dissuaded them, completely routing them. We'll disband the army. Oh, wait, let's go ahead and end the war first. Enforce demands. And then you, rebellion leader, to the stake. Now, we do need to make more tribes in these territories over here, which is going to require more gold. Fortunately for us, this duchy over here has just gotten all their gold back. It's a shame they're going to lose it. Oh, so soon. Of late, my courtiers seem to avoid me at all costs. I hear whispers about my bravery is mistaken for bloodlust, but that just means I rule with a firm hand. It does not mean I'm a monster, does it? So we can get, uh, gain the trait Irritable. We can gain the trait, uh, what is this, Confider, which is plus one to diplomacy, diplomacy and minus stress loss. Yeah, let's get that. We are so high, we are no longer overwhelmed by stress, and our son, Borgat Facebeater II, comes of age. He is a terrible warrior. Ugh, just an absolute worthless son. But we have gained another upgrade for Marshall, so let's get Engineered for Destruction. This will give Siege Weapon effectiveness. And did I see something else? No, I did not. So we are still ransoming prisoners as we get them. Finishing up the raids here, we have a few more rounds to go. He has not sallied out with his army quite yet, which is great for us as we get all of the free loot. We already have 63, and we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, 6 more territories to go. We have another son. This one is of the thief birth sign. May grow strong and wise, my son. You don't seem to have too much promise in your name. Let's go ahead and finish up the raids here. We only have two more left. And you have increased the control here. Wonderful. So let's go ahead. We can increase the control in my son's land. I'm not that concerned about that. Let's go ahead and, in fact, train more commanders as we're going to need more and more of those. Our glory is widely known, as is tradition at this point. We can ransom this child. Excellent. We are known as the Great Huzzah. Oh, and another ransom. Oh, the gold just keeps pouring in. We have such an 
overpowered start at this point because this empire has shattered allowing us to raid everybody individually rather than having to deal with them all together we do have 398 gold hold on we have 30 more coming in let's go ahead and build some new tribes this will be a tribe and i think we can build a tribe oh no we can't can't build anything there what about here i want to build a tribe oh maybe it's because it's my son's land well that's okay we do have some more things we can build and we can build a second level in our Palisades for our capital. I think this is going to be worthwhile. It increases the fort level. Currently at three. Well, this will take us to four. What does it take to upgrade this? We need the plen plenary assemblies discovery. Okay. Palisades will do just fine for right now. And we have raided everyone that we really can at this point. Uh, so I think with a thousand prestige, it's time for war. And I do think this will be a lovely addition to our kingdom. Let's go ahead and declare war for you. We'll declare war for you on the duchy. You do have one ally. Who is your ally? You have two allies. So you, they have 1,300. You have 1,800. And this person has 11. So let's go ahead and declare the war here. Holy conquest. Raise our armies. And we begin, we'll march directly to his capital. We don't even care about the number of men we have. Oh, and we're going to catch this man right here. Yes. We'll catch him before he's able to link up with his allies, severely weakening him, absolutely demolishing his armies. And we have three years left on this siege. This is going to be a long siege, so let's go ahead and split the army a little bit. We'll take the uh, the larger unit. We'll go right here. We'll put the... We still have that, yes. Our champion here was the military expert. We'll go ahead and put that one there as we will continue on raiding. We'll, we'll be the leader of this one. Thoras comes of age. Ooh, they grow up fast. You're 13, but you'll be an excellent commander as well. Speaking of commanders, is our, our son is here. That's wonderful. Do we have anybody else that's better than these two? Or better than you? No, we don't. And you're still our best marshal, which is great because you are our son and heir. This one, we don't have enough troops to get this done. So we're just going to go fight down their armies. Hopefully shielding this uh, smaller unit. As he's going directly for our land, which is perfect, we're going to catch him here. He's not going to be able to escape us. He's hiding in the mountains, thinking that will give him some kind of an advantage. But no advantage is possible against Thorgut Face Beater. Oh, we absolutely wreck his army. We'll go ahead and chase them down until they yield. This man spawned another army, but we've captured him once more. Now this is their leader. We have the chance. Oh, we took a valuable hostage, but we didn't take the, the, du the duke himself. Grog, Iron Teeth, comes of age. Grog, you are pretty terrible, Grog, for being a giant. I had so much invested in you because you're such a giant and you only get seven martial. Ugh. At least he's 19 prowess. That'll help us out a lot in terms of having more commanders. And here comes somebody else to try and challenge our sieging armies. Oh, they get there in time. But no worries. We quickly defeat them. We get another martial per... Let's get li living off the land. Increases raid speed and supply capacity. That'll be very helpful. And we have captured his capital. Unfortunately, we did lose one of our counties in the progress, but these two are going to link up. We're going to smash their armies once more and hopefully absolutely route both of them. Yes, and we have captured him, increasing our war score to 100% and force demands. So be it. We'll disband our army. Now, we do have eight of four, so we're going to have to give away a lot of these. So I'm going to give them away in small batches, always to mountain orcs. We could give all these to our sons, which wouldn't be the worst thing. Let's go ahead and do that so our sons can kind of prosper a little bit. We'll give each of them a county. That might not be the worst thing to do. Let each of them become a ruler. Now, this is a little bit dangerous in terms of succession that they get some strength to be able to challenge, but I'm not that concerned about it. We'll, we still have six territories when we die. For our heir so that will be pretty nice but look how big that territory looks oh so good and the best news is is we have new raiding targets yes these two duchies over here will soon be at our disposal but we are going to increase our troops a little bit before we do that till death do us part how a heart can endure this kind of pain without breaking it cannot be possible yet here i am my heart beating on wits yours has gone quiet oh badish my darling life will not be the same without you. She died at the age of 62. My commander, my friend, we gain 
44 stress. We are overwhelmed by stress. We are at level 2. We need to call a hunt. Sound the horn. We are no longer overwhelmed by stress, but we're still at level 1. My lord, a fox! My queen Abdullah gestures to me for her to join Chase. As soon as we are hidden in the mountain, she turns around and tugs at my shirt over my head. Finally, some alone time. Ooh. We get fresh air and exercise, which gives us a huge health bonus. But what about the fox? No, no, no. We'll take the huge health bonus. That is what we need. We desperately need to lower our stress. We're done educating our children, but the stress is becoming too much for us to handle. So we're going to host a feast and almost get down below stress level one. Hopefully we get an event at this feast that will take us below that because we are definitely running into problems. We can gain household efforts. No, no, no. We'll take the prestige once more. Hopefully, give me something. Ooh, hold on. The latest work of my vassal Baroness Davala has become all the rage at court of late. The piece details with memory and what we leave behind, as Davala has publicly declared it to, to me. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. We get a 99% chance of gaining 20 opinion with her and piety. Or we can say, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Um, You're my vassal? Where do you have vassal? Where's this barony of yours? Oh, down here? We need to revoke that. You're not an orc. Time out. Also, let's go ahead and increase our tribal law. We can imprison characters. Let's go ahead and do this. We need to get up to tribal 34 before we can uh, become feudal if we want to. But this is just going to increase levy levies and taxes to us, which is going to be very helpful. I do not like you. Touching my arm to get my attention, Queen Ashgal spoke in a lowered voice. Would you like to decorate the Saturala tree with me? Even if the festival is an occasion of celebration and joy, it's difficult for, it's very difficult to not think of the Saturala tree <laughs> tradition in history. The tradition involves decorating evergreens with elaborate de decorations. Evergreen trees are chosen because they are out associated with resilience and rebirth. So, 25% chance she becomes my lover. We also have a chance... We form a strong bond together. That's lovely. Also, since we do have op an option for a new wife, we can gain a new alliance over here. Uh, tell me about you. Do you have any good traits? Can we get anybody with inheritable traits at this point? Let's go search by that. No, we cannot. So we will take you. I do not want that. Ooh, it's scaly. Uh, let's go ahead and get you in here. That won't do anything for us, but it will give us the potential for even more sons. Wait. Oh, it's my brother-in-law. Where are you at? Oh, you're all the way up there because we did marry one of our wife, our daughters down there. Uh, we have nothing but sons at this point, I do believe. We have thir 10 children. My goodness. You have not been engaged yet. Let's go ahead and we're going to send you off to this man so that we can get stronger ties with this kingdom up here. The only other orc kingdom that we do have. All right, we finished the wall and ditches. Let's go ahead and finish off our home county with the marketplace this will give us plus four tax this is not going to be that helpful but everything's helpful in some regard we are still building over here and we do need more gold to oh we can't build tribes on there but we are finishing up our our last tribal holding and we'll finally be able to get rid of king's crest because we're not getting the efficient taxes out of this popular opinions minus 43 we actually are kind of getting the uh, appropriate levels from that I never expected I would grow as close to King Harold as I have in the past few years on multiple occasions he's proven himself to be a reliable and fortright man with only the best interests at heart. Who is this man? Where is he? Oh, you're a big man. What? Oh, <laughs> you're kind of scary. Yeah, so it, let's be friends. <laughs> we made a friend. Now, we will get very stressed out when he dies, but at least that will prevent him from attacking us, at least in the beginning. I did not see how big this man got. He just absorbed this duchy that we moved down here to start raiding against. I think it's time to be very aggressive with our wars and taking over the territories we can before this man grabs them all. So let's go ahead, continue on conquest. Who are you allied to? Nobody that big. And finish off you as well. You have a kingdom, technically. Let's go ahead and declare war on your duchy. I'm not that interested in the kingdom title, as we are only a king ourselves. So let's raise our armies, begin the battle once anew. Oh, we've cornered his armies here. He only has the 1300. He's not leading his own commanders, but we did capture somebody, which is going to be good for us. That is a commander, so I'm going to leave them in my jail. As we go to his county capital, my spy masters come with me. Great news. It is Felodiths, the son of Baron Trevis of Magia, 
I was plotting against my prisoner. Oh no, not my prisoner. <laughs> Don't care about that one at all, but we do get the sparring grounds completed in Plothria. So where is Plothria? It is right here. Plotharia, whatever. We'll go ahead and build palisades there. And then what can we, you are done with here? So we'll only need 75 more gold before we can build walls over there. Once again, increasing our levy size. But now with those two, we're up to 15 total knights. So that is going to be very good for us. This is a very high fort level. We need to finish up our research with the barracks before we're able to kind of build these men at arms. It's going to take us 35 more years, so a very long road, but a one worthwhile. Sappers is our next lifestyle perk. This will give us siege progress, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and split the army once more. Bring you over here, and then we'll replace you with our siege person, our champion. And then we will lead this army and hunt down his ally when he comes. Oh, and I found another army. Oh, they were trying to link up, but I captured a valuable person. And he's going for my army down here, but 2,000 orcs against 735 people. We don't even need to join this battle, but we do. We capture even more people in that battle. Let's go ahead and separate the armies once more. As we have completely squashed both his armies. And we're almost done with this. Only four months left on this siege. And this should be the end of the war. Yes, and we have captured him, but because we're already at 100%, we're going to ransom him before we give away his title. He only has 97 gold. That's going to be fine, because once we take this all away from him... Oh, we captured somebody else. Ransom you. Oh, no ransom, huh? Darn shame. <laughs> but that is the end of the war. His, we got the gold. Let's go ahead and enforce demands. And there we go. Even more land, which we're going to give away to all of our sons once again. You are still, you are a human vassal. We'll have to get rid of you. Let's go ahead and give this all. Oh, I gave that to a random person. That's fine. We have plenty of sons. My son and Stuart, you can have this land. And I think we're actually running out of sons to grant these things to. Uh, that looks like we have this son right here. We have grandchildren. That's good to know. And we'll go ahead and grant this to a, a random noble. Does our son have any children? Oh, yes, he does. Ooh, he has three children. You're Marshall, but I can't educate you. Hold on. Offer guardianship. Me. He will accept that. Yes, I do want to educate the son. And I did get a name suggestion, so we we're going to rename this child. You shall be Kiel, the Destroyer. A much better name. Yes. And as soon as this is accepted, we'll be able to start educating this boy. He's only six years old, so we didn't miss out too much time. He does accept that. So he does get the Marshall. And we are educating him correctly. Yes, we are. So he will become a much stronger person. He is the steed, just like his grandpapa. With Marshall and a small health bonus, he will be a great child. You are of... Eh, don't really care about you. And you haven't gotten any signs yet. So that is great. Our line of succession is secured. We're greatly increasing Orxium. With two more targets left to go, we do want to grab as much of this land as possible before it is all gobbled up. And with our new gold, we'll construct more palisades in our de jure lands. This has one day left. Ooh, get there. There we go. Let's go ahead and build another war camp there, spending all of our money. Now, we do have too many titles, so let's go ahead and move the county capital to Whitefall Valley and grant this to a random orc. And, ah, oh, you can be at least a spy master, I guess. And we'll continue our grand conquest into our next target down here, which is... The Duchy of Cropsford. Declare war for the Duchy. Yes! Raise the men. To war we go. The men of women of Cropsford proved little resistance. Let's enforce demands. Welcome to the Orc Domain. Yes! Let's go ahead and give these all away as well to more Orcs. And our prison is overloaded with people. Let's go ahead and ransom as many of these people off as we can get them all out of the prison whoever can't be ransomed will die like this man who is you execute Let's see can you seven golds fine any kind of gold i will ransom you for you're deciding a fur favor <laughs> oh no i think not and we return home with 226 gold wait time out hold up my son was taken prisoner I guess he got ransomed. I think my son and heir took some of his territories. Looks like they were fighting. But we do get a ton more gold. We are facing a dangerous faction. This one wants independence. It has 12 members. Oh, this is going to be great. I'll be able to revoke your titles once you do this. We do have a decision. Uh, found a holy order. 
There can never be too many warriors dedicated to defending the true faith. I will honor Malakath by giving those who would serve a home and arms. Yes, let's go ahead and found the Holy Order. This will cost 500 gold and win 1,000 prestige. Yes, we will definitely raise that. That'll be very good in our defense. We've also unlocked uh, a martial perk. So we'll get strategist, which gives us plus one diplomacy, plus three martial, and we fat, uh, fatal casualties plus 25%. That'll be very nice for us. And after 24 years, we have finally converted the faith to Mountain Orc and Code of Malakath. So let's go ahead and finish. M let's move our next targets down, promote culture into these two, settle our own people there. That will take how long? I didn't even look. 18 years. Okay, so this guy's moving a little bit faster. You're at 15. That's pretty good. We have someone who has 26. Oh, it's my stupid human. I don't want a human on my court. That's very unfortunate. But you are 17. Go ahead and sign you. Bring in somebody a little bit better. And do we have anybody better than you? No. Well, actually, we do. You're 20. Go ahead and do that. Yes. And then anybody better than you? You're 20. Yeah. You're doing great. Your martial has increased tremendously. I really like that. But you are a drunkard. That's very unfortunate for us. And we once again have enough gold to go on a hunt, and a hunt we will go on. This will bring us all the way back down. Oh, we immediately... Oh, good. Our friend died. Oh, no, this was you. You're going to be mad at us. I was shocked when I caught my grandson, Kyul, the destroyer, trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting chieftain Gogs. He confessed he had thought he could get away with it, but he now knows it was wrong. He can gain the trait honest, or he can be deceitful or humble. Honest is fine. As the hunt goes on, you find yourself separated from the group and in a part of the hunting grounds you have never seen before. Around you are the singing of birds, and various noises made by bigger beasts have grown quiet. You can feel a higher presence overseeing this land. As you so slowly press on, you find a small and secluded shrine dedicated to none other than Daedric, Prince Hyacin, father of the hunt. Uh, we can leave the shrine and focus on our hunt, or we can issue a small prayer. We might be rewarded. Let's get risque. Let's see what that does. This is very interesting. I've never seen this one before. The hunt is drawing to an end. We Oh, we didn't get anything. Oh, he didn't see us worthy. But you know who is worthy? This man of being attacked. We have the prestige of oh, this woman. <laughs> Let's conquer their county as well. We're running out of prestige to finally stop doing this. But we do have over 8,000 orcs, which will help us defend our lands as we are quickly becoming very in a very dangerous situation, surrounded by many dangerous men. But first... This person will be absolutely destroyed. My spy master has come with me. Great news. A noble woman is plotting against my champion, Durs. Durs is absolutely getting upset. Ah, uh, that's hysterical fiend. I'm sitting around the table with Prince Hafrin and Chief Thagor, discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Hafrin brings his fists on the table and loudly proclaims we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with the sheer might of our armies, while Thagor sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations and wait for the enemy to come to us. Uh, since I have such a high marshal, I know how to improve both, so we'll improve offense and defense for five years, and both of them will do the same. And we have captured this child. Is this child worth ransoming? 71 gold. Yes, indeed. Let's go ahead and wait for that to tick through. There we go. 100% war score and force demands. So be it. Disband the armies, and then let's give away these territories to even more orcs. And grant to my guest. Yeah, bring up, come on in. I think you'll be a commander. You might be pretty good. Oh, uh, only eight. That's okay. But you are a poet. So that's interesting. You are 21. Diplomacy. So let's go ahead. I keep seeing this woman thinking she's important. Let's bring on this guy to help us with our diplomacy. And then I would really love a better steward. 20. Yes, that's going to be much better. Yes, settle alarm people there. That will take 13 years instead of 17. And we have greatly increased our kingdom size, we can now raise a total of 9,471 orcs of high quality. That will be enough to keep our kingdom safe, our secure, our realm is secured, as this man only has 4,000. What can we do about this? Can I holy war for your kingdom? That would be nice. Tell me about the, your religion, though. Very large, so that would not be a good call. So... But that is where we're going to leave today's episode off. King Borgat has once again conquered the weak and taken what is rightfully his. And with that, secured our place in history. But as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Especially if you've made this far in the episode. 
If you have made this far in the episode, hey, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.